Myth, there's unbreakable glass. Fact, there's smarter glass that manages where and how it breaks. Here's how it's actually made. Step 1. Sand. Soda ash. Limestone. Melted into a 2500 degrees lava. Floated on a bath of liquid tin. So it comes out perfectly flat. That's float glass. Tempered glass. The stuff in car side windows and shower doors. It gets reheated to about 620 degrees X. Then blasted with cold air. That cools the outside first, locking in compressive stress on the surface. Translation. The outside's always squeezing the inside, so small cracks can't grow. If it finally fails, it explodes into tiny cubes instead of stabby shards. Safer, not unbreakable. Laminated glass. Think car windshields and smash-proof storefronts. Two or more sheets of glass with a gooey plastic layer, usually PVB, in between. They're pressed and baked in an autoclave so the layers bond like a glass sandwich. Hit it hard and the glass may crack, but the plastic holds everything together, keeping the hole small and your face unsliced. Bullet-resistant glass takes lamination to beast mode. Alternating layers of glass polycarbonate. Stacked thick. Each layer spreads out the force. Slows the projectile. The plastic catches fragments. It's bullet-resistant, not bulletproof. More layers, more protection, more weight. Phone screens? That's chemically strengthened glass. They bathe it in molten salt so tiny sodium ions swap for bigger potassium ions. Bigger ions? Chew bigger squeeze at the surface. Tougher against scratches and drops. So no, there's no magic unbreakable glass. There's engineered stress sticky layers, and smart chemistry that control damage so you stay safe. Myth busted. Fact upgraded. What should I break down next?